Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Simply K back with another video, video, video. Yes, the setup is different once again because your girl switched her office around. So now we have a new space, so get used to this view. Um, so welcome back to the channel. Today is the cash stuffing for the second check of March. So this is the second cash stuffing for March. We are stuffing $390. I have my breakdown over here and we're just going to get right into this video. So if you are new, thank you for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you are a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey. And let's get right into it, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and let's get stuffing. So per usual, we're going to start with my Moterm wallet. I am like highly considering getting another one because it's just like wear and tear. I don't know. Maybe I'll need to get some more envelopes. I don't know. But we're going to get um, a new one. So this is the breakdown. Do, 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 do. So we're stuffing $390. Gas is going to be getting $25. I already put $50 in it. So that's pretty much probably what the cash stuffings will look like is me already putting in the $50 and me just putting in $25 in this envelope. Toll is not getting anything. Date. Oh, I mixed it up. From, um... I don't even know. We'll keep it in this order because who knows. Food has a little bit left over. $3. We're going to put that to the side. Food is going to be getting $40. I decided to up my budget because I did realize like whether it was at work or whether it was just getting stuff like while we're out and about. I was spending a little bit more money eating out. So I'm just going to give myself a little bit more and see how I do with that. Um, the biggest thing with your budget is making sure that you're paying attention to your patterns and then kind of adjusting your budget so that you don't sit there and spend money on your card when you're supposed to be using your um, cash. So that's what I did. Date night is going to be getting $20. And shopping looks like it has a dollar. We'll put it over here. Shopping is going to be getting $35. Because again, I was spending money. So I might as well just give myself the extra extra room so that is that for the wallet actually we will go ahead and do the change before I forget the change because I always forget the change so we are going to zoom in for you 6587 is what we have and we're putting in a dollar and four cents. I like counted it out and everything before. Trying to do stuff a little bit differently. So we'll see how that works. And I decided to take a break for my nails because I get annoyed, like I get annoyed when my nails grow out so long. I was getting dip powder and they just grow so fast with dip powder, but like it, they were beginning to get on my nerves. So I'm taking a break. So we have a total of 67.91. So that is good. We will zoom back out. And now we're gonna stuff our sinking funds, our cash envelopes rather. Fun money is going to be getting $10. So now we should have a total of 30, 10, 20, 30. Self care is going to be getting $50. So we should have a total of 50, 70, 90, 95. Emergency fund is getting $15 and we have $525 in there so we should have a total of 540 
when we add the 15 in. So let's see. 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 430, 440, 450, 460, 470, 480, 490, 500, 510, 515, 520, 525, 530, 535, 540. Perfect. 540. Car maintenance has 125. It's going to be getting 10, so it has a total of 100. 110, 120, 130, 135. Medical dental has $85. It's going to be getting 15. So we're going to have a total of 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. Back to 100, and I do have a dentist appointment and a doctor's appointment in April, so we'll have the co-pays for that. So next I'm gonna do the cash envelopes. I mean, I don't know why I keep mixing them up. I'm gonna be doing, next I'm gonna be doing the sinking funds. So, birthdays and gifts has $40 in it. I did spend $90 for a baby shower. Um, and we're adding in $10, so we should have a total of 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. And I have one birthday coming up next week. Hubby has $10, he's just getting five, so he'll have 10, 20, 25. Vacation has 15, it's also getting five, so it'll be 10, 15, 20. Grad school has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. And then we're gonna add in 100, so $800. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I need about 200 more dollars to have enough for my summer tuition. And then I'm done because I'm going to take a little break. Give myself some time off from school because it's not too bad. But it's just like really annoying working. And now that I'm working almost every day, it's just I don't really want to do my homework. So I'm going to take a little break. Textbooks has... $5, it's gonna, I mean it has $10, it's getting $5, so it should have 15, 5, 10, 15. Christmas has 60, and we're adding 5, so we should have a total of 65. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. Which is good. Simply K has 85, we're getting 5. So we should have 90, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. I'm telling you, it this system, like when I used the money to get the stuff for the baby shower, it was just such a relief to know that that wasn't going to break my bank because I have money in here for birthdays and gifts. It was just a wonderful thing. P.O. Box has 25 and it's not getting anything. I just want to make sure 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That I did not sneak in there and take anything out. So that is good. Giving is getting $5. Has 30 in there. So we should have 35. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Excellent. And then that is it for the cash envelopes. And then for my challenge. I kind of messed up. I didn't take out enough money. I thought I had a certain amount of money in my account that was like extra. I didn't know where it was supposed to go. And I thought it was just extra. But really it was not. It was for this. So instead of the $50 I was putting towards this, it's now getting um, $35 because I messed up some things. So it's okay. It is what it is. But it has $4.45 in here. So 445 plus 35 is 480. So we should have 480, which is good. 
way more than I thought I was going to have anyway at this point. 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 430, 440, 445, 450, 455, 460, 465, 470. Oh, I can't count. Oh, I only put 30 in. Sorry. That's my fault. So I can count. I just misread. So we should have 475. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 430, 440, 445, 450, 455, 460, 465, 470, 475. So 475 is the total. I hate when I mess up and then it gets all ugly. But it's okay. 475 is what we have in our savings challenge. And then we're going to add in our dollar challenge we have $19 in here and we're adding in four dollars these dollars are like struggling so 325 so we should have 23 dollars so Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. Great. That is that. Oh, I hate when I put them in like that. And there we go. And make sure we did everything we went through everything so that is all that i have for you guys today nice quick and short i'm trying to make these videos like not as long get right to the point because i want to start adding some more content to this channel so just stay tuned for the changes um i am going to be making a video on my debt and all that um i'm very excited to say that i paid off my first student loan um this check i paid one thousand nine hundred and fifteen dollars to sally may on the loan that i was working on paying off and it is gone you guys so that is just like so exciting to me i paid almost six thousand dollars since like the end of november to now so like that's completely amazing i did not think that you never think things are possible until you just like see them and it's just so nice to see all your effort so i'm very excited for that so we'll, we'll just, we will be discussing um what i'm going to do for the next loan that's coming up and how we're going to attack that one and goals for that so stay tuned for that um debt update video and just let me know what other videos you guys want to see because i want to do more than just the cash stuffing videos the budget with me's I don't think would be as fun because my budget is so fixed like there's not really anything fancy to it but just let me know but that's all I have for you guys so I hope that you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video bye guys